Welcome back to Jodan54's new Super Mario Brothers Wii Walkthrough! In the last episode, we took care of the first three levels in World 4. Now it's time to take on Wendy. Even though I really hate Wendy as a character, her castles are really cool. Alright, so right off the bat, you're going to notice there's water at the bottom that you're not even going to be able to touch. So right away, jump over here before you can get crushed by these... Uh, blocks and make sure that uh, you are not uh, make sure that you are not going to get crushed there because that could be bad alright so I'm just gonna jump over here a lot of conveyor belts here um, so, main power-up is the ice flower, the specialty is obviously those blocks, and a lot of conveyor belts here. Your second star coin is right here, in that small area. It's kind of obvious considering that it's all green there. There's your checkpoint flag. You can get yourself some propeller blocks here, and there's a donut, which can give you a one-up mushroom. Or something else, depending on what you have. Up next, some more blocks. And Mario really bumped his head on that one. Ouch! That really looked like it hurt Mario. You just bumped your head on that one. Ouch! Ow. I mean, he, he isn't even wearing a cap. Alright, so... Even though there's a lot of green there, there isn't a star coin there. Alright, so, here. Uh, now, you have to be very quick here if you want to get that star coin. The star coin is not easy to get. Alright, so... Ah! Oh, that was close! Ooh. Yeah, you just have to go right there, right before uh, that, that last block falls. If you go here, you can get a bunch of extra coins here. And, um, just open up the, the door here, and you can fight Wendy. Alright, so... It's the wedding ring, Koopa! And, uh... So, she's gonna move around in her shell, and she's gonna try to attack you again. Before she can shoot another ring, I'm gonna kill her. I love how the rings go ding, ding, when they bounce around the stadium. Ow! There she goes. Dead! Not big surprise! And I really had the camera, like, messed up there. That was awful. Why does she have to sound like that? I mean, she's going... <laughs> Alright, so, with that level done, well, it's actually not done yet. Because this level is a secret exit, and we're about to explore it, and camera bump. We are in and secret exit bump. location. Go, 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 go! Yes! Alright! You have to just jump right there to get to that pipe. And there are some more conveyor belts here, and there's your secret exit. And for the record, I have no idea where this Karen leads you. It's either World 7 or World 8. Or World 6. Once again, I have no idea. It's probably because I never use this cannon. It's probably the least efficient out of all the cannons, to be honest. I wouldn't take cannons at all, but I would recommend taking the others, because they're way better. Anyways, so 4 4 is up next. And believe it or not, this is the only 100% underwater level in this whole world. And it's a really annoying one at that. Alright, so here we are. So what makes this level so evil? Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to take a pit stop so I can get a fire flower. And I'll tell you. First of all, 
blue fish that hunts you down, and then bloopers. Bloopers everywhere, which may result in bloopers, as in deaths. All right, so got a whole bunch of enemies that are coming right after me, including some more bloopers and blue fish. All right, so there's another, there's a donut here. The star coins are in very odd places, by the way. If you think you missed one, you probably haven't. Button jam. And that blooper will not stop following me. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, there are bloopers everywhere, and they pop out of nowhere. Well, they really pop out of pipes, but still. Alright, so you head in this pipe, and you get blown away by the air. No. You head in this pipe right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, um, let's see here. Yep, this guy. You kill him in one hit and get yourself three one-up mushrooms. Yeah! And he doesn't even respawn. And let's see. Um, Starman and Fire Flower. And this will actually be quite useful. Because then I can kill some fish. Alright, so let's see here. Die. Die. And, uh, as soon as you hit that P-switch, that pipe will stop having air come out of it. And then, you can use it to bring yourself up here. Now, uh, the way you do this is get yourself a penguin suit here and freeze this fish. Now, I already got the star coin somehow, but the main way to do that is to jump off of that frozen fish. And I got him when he was turning around, so he's looking at the camera. That's pretty funny. Um, so anyway, now we have a uh, penguin suit Mario. And, well, never mind. No, we don't. We don't have a Penguin Suit Mario. And there are a lot of bloopers everywhere. That pipe has three. As if two or one wasn't enough. And, uh... Yeah, you have to sacrifice your Fire Flower to get that. Your second Star Coin's right there. Pretty simple. Alright, so... Oh, yes, alright. Now your third Star Coin, you just go through there, and there it is. And you go through this pipe and you're home free. Alright, so I'm just gonna wall jump here. Yeah, alright! That's how you do it, Mario. Okay. With that done, we unlock ourselves a toad house and a ghost house. Alright, so, first off, the Toad House. Let's see what we can get here. Let's see how lucky we are today. Um, who knows? Maybe we will be lucky. And maybe we won't! Ah! Penguin suit. Propeller mushroom. Ah, Bowser Jr. Come on, give me a match already. There we go, mini mushroom, better than nothing. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, we got a mini mushroom. Anyways. So it's time for the ghost house. And as usual, Normal exit and secret exit. I'll be getting the normal exit first. If you go right there, you can get yourself a star man and kill yourself a bunch of booze. <laughs> I might get enough for a one up. Yeah! Oh, two one ups. Beautiful. Alright, so some of these platforms bring you down, some of them bring you up when you jump on them. And then when you jump off of them, they go back to their original place. If you keep standing on this one, you can bring yourself up to a P-switch. Once you hit that P-switch, there will be some blue coins pointing to some coins that once you hit, you can enter the door. And in this door, there's a bunch of mice. And they freak out once you kill one of them. 
Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. Ow, never mind. I feel like I'm missing a lot of star coins. I'll get them on the secret exit. There's your second star coin, and if you go up in this one, right here, you can head up on the top. And then you can hit that one, it's pretty funny. That's actually how you get a star coin in uh, one of the other ghost houses. You can use a springboard here to get yourself higher up on the flagpole. Just throw it there, bounce off of it, and try our hardest to get it to the top. And I threw it the wrong way. There we go. Ah, oh, 8,000. Oh well. I'm not even going to bother cutting for the secret exit because I still have the first star coin to get. That's alright. Anyway, the normal exit leads you to a 3-5, which is a really fun level. First off, we have to get that secret exit. Okay, first off, you want to get the star man. It's not required, but as usual, it's awesome. Take a pit stop for a mushroom. Now, as for the first star coin, um, it's right here, right? Yep, right there. That's your first star coin. Now, as for the secret exit, here's what you do you just stand right here and wait. You keep waiting, and you keep waiting. And there's your door. This door will lead you to this part. As for this part, ow, I'm gonna get hit. And some of these pillars here will turn into fairy death machine things, and they'll try throwing themselves at you. And when they fail, t they'll turn into a coin. You just keep waiting and waiting and waiting until you can jump up here. And get yourself a third star coin. Come on. God, that took forever. More fairy pillars. And we'll just keep going. Watch out for the Mega Boo. And right here, that's the door you take. And so, you're just gonna lure that boo away from the secret exit, the flagpole there. And I missed. That was horrible. Come on! Alright, so, I'm just gonna move it forward. Jump over it! Yeah! Alright. And I'm gonna do my best here. Yeah! One up! And that takes care of the ghost house. Tune in next time we complete World 4 on New Super Mario Bros. Wii Walkthrough. Bye-bye.